Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Dick. I almost said Dr. Dick. It's been a long night. Zenikar, Vintage Pack Break, part three of three. If you watch two of three, it was a great run, which I am suspecting part three of three to be equally opposite and for it to not be nearly as cool. Three fetch lands and a Soren Markov out of 12 packs. That's not too bad. Fetchies are really hot right now. Hagra Diabolist. Di Geyser Glider. Quest for the Holy Relic. And our rare is a Mythic. Feldair Sovereign. A 4-6 Cat Beast with Vigilance and Life Lick. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 40 or more life, you win the game. That is not too bad. All right. Boy, tonight's been interesting. I've opened fifth edition, seventh edition. I'm gonna open 24 packs of champions of, or survivors of Kamigawa. And then I'm gonna open up two more revised booster box, booster starter decks, two more revised starter decks. So make sure you subscribe. Gatekeeper of Malker. Needlebite Trap. Sigari, Sigari Refuge. A rare is a Turned Timber Ranger, 2-2 two, two for 5. Whenever a Turned Timber Ranger or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a 2-2 two, two Green Wolf creature token onto the battlefield. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Turned Timber Ranger. We got an island, and I think we got a Foil Mythic. We did. A Foil Lotus Cobra. I don't know if that card's worth any money, so... You'll have to look it up. Probably not. I don't know if anything from Zendikar is worth a ton. But I got this for you guys anyway. All right. Balth Woodcrasher. Trap Maker Snare. Kazandu Refuge. And World Queller. Another foil. Um... Five for a four four. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may choose a card type. If you do, each player sacrifices a permanent of that type. That will come in handy if they have one you don't. And a foil primal bellow. I'm assuming they really up the uh, foil ratio in Zendikar. It seems like there's a ton. But then again, I don't know. I did just open 7th edition where they were really rare. All right, um, Balith Cage Trap, Blazing Torch, Trap Keeper Snare. Oh, I was hoping it was a fetch. Um, Molten Pinnacle enters tapped. Whenever the a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have Valakut the Molten Pinnacle deal three damage to target creature or player. Well, that's probably not a bad card, huh? People probably play that in EDH, right? I was just watching uh, an internet friend of mine's videos about uh, his EDH primer, new law student. If you're uh, not subscribed to him, he's working really hard at pumping out. He's probably gonna burn out. He's putting out so many good videos lately, but um, I'm liking it. Arrow Volley Trap. Aether Figment. Carnage Altar. Sadistic. Sacrament, three black, the seven kick. Search t target player's library for up to three cards, exile them. Then if that pl then the player shuffles her library. If it was kicked, search for up to 15 cards. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't like our odds of opening an on-camera um, Priceless Treasure, even though my luck has been very good in the past. Aether Figment, Core Aeronaut, Frontier Guide, and Emiria the Sky Ruin. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control seven or more planes, you may return Tiger Creature Card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. It's not so bad. You're not going to do a hell of a lot until turn... Eight, but it's not bad. Ugh. 
Eek. Maybe you play that mono white <laughs> to make sure you get your planes out. I don't know. My phone just droided. Forgot to turn the sound off. Inferno Trap. River Boa. Uh, Akum, Akum Refuge. Sphinx of the Lost Truths. 3 5 with a kicker flying. Not too shabby. A forest. How are you guys liking the uh, vintage stuff? I just did what, the 5th edition? I did 7th edition. I've been doing some revise. I got so much more. Fallen Empires, I've got. Legends, I've got. Ice Age. Tempest. I've got it all, folks. I'm going to open it all up. Goblin Rune Met Blaster. Kazandu Refuge. Brave the Elements. An Elemental Appeal. Uh, put a 7 1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste onto the battlefield. You can kick it. If an elemental appeal is kicked, that creature gets plus 7 plus 0 till end of turn. Ooh, Foil Mountain. I was thinking to myself that, like, I don't have any foil lands. I think I'd rather have that than most any other foil. All right. Blazing Torch, Rune Flare Trap, Green Weaver Druid, Gruldaz Spectre, 2 2 Flyer. It gets plus 3 plus 3 as long as an opponent has no cards in their hand. When it deals combat damage, a player, that player discards a card. Okay. So you probably want to combine that with some discard cards if you want to really activate that ability. Down to three packs, ladies and germs. Learning more about Zendikar, because, you know, from opening all these. Probably would have been a fun set. Uh, Tarju Archer. Arrow Volley Trap. Landbind Ritual. Summoning Trap. Six mana. If a creature spell you cast this turn was countered by a spell or ability, uh, you may pay zero rather than pay Summoning Trap's mana cost. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Eh. Probably not bad if you're playing somebody with a lot of counter spells or something. As predicted, I'm not complaining because you guys know I don't complain about packs. But I figured the middle of the box was just so sweet. Sorry about my phone there. It was just so sweet that I just knew the second half of the box. There's no way it could have been that good. Gomazoa, Marsh Casualties, Quest for the Gem Blades, and a Hellkite Charger. 5-5 five, five Flying Haste, and whenever it attacks, you may pay 7. If you do, untap all attacking creatures after this phase, and there's an additional combat phase. Last pack. See, I had all those fetch lines in the middle of the box, and not one in the bottom. So it ended up, we went from like a, a, a fetchy, a fetchy of monumental occasions to basically the average amount of fetch lines that are in a box, which is why the law of averages works, except for on me. Living Tsunami, Quest for the Grave Lord, Primal Bellow, Sphinx of Jawar Isle, a six drop for a five five flying and shroud, and you may look at the top card of your library. All right. Oh, and a foil. Hey, a foil Misty Rainforest. I was just about to say that the box was, you know, going to go without a, was going to go out with a whimper. But it squeezed out another fetch land for, for me, which I would have been happy with. Um, but the fact that it's foil, I'm even happier. So that is the Zendikar booster box, vintage box opening. We did not get a priceless treasure, but that's okay. No way I could expect one in 20 odds, you know, expect to get a 5% chance. Um, if you like these kind of box breaks, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we do more and more stuff. If uh, you like this video, help me out by crushing the thumbs up button right below the video. And uh, I look forward to chatting with you about Magic the Gathering in the comment section down below. Talk to you soon.